Right now, I'm a certified peer support specialist for the state of Michigan. I work with a lot of different people that's homeless, that need homes. Some of them are in, uh, don't have enough to pay their electric bill or some of them their gas bill. You know, a lot of people are coming out to me now, reaching out to me to get help because they need some place to stay. So I work with a lot of people, women with children, men, youth. So I work with a lot of different people in the community. That's what I do. I'm living in an, uh, my own apartment right now. I've been homeless off and on throughout my lifetime. And I don't know how long I'll be able to stay there, you know, uh, because it's not mainly for a person that was for affordable housing. That's not what the purpose was. I was lucky to get some place to stay. You know, it just happened that uh, a landlord worked something out with me to get a place, you know, a roof over my head. I used to be, um, in a house that was rehabbed and when I had my children with me. It was rehabbed the way I wanted it to be, the way I wanted to live with my children. And when the house was rehabbed, it was a nice house. And I lived in the community where I went out there and helped turn my community around. My community was safe. The drug house, I, I got rid of a drug house on my street. We cleaned up the community. We cleaned up from the basement to the uh, alley to the backyard. If they had junk on whatever, we had a cleanup day. Everybody threw everything away that day, and the city came and picked it up. We kept our neighborhood clean, and that's what we need, you know, more things like that. It's been very difficult, you know, to find a place to live. I've been living out of out of my car from time to time. When you're homeless, you're delirious, you're, you're stressed out, you're traumatized. Um, a lot of things go on when you're homeless, especially when you have different kind of illnesses or you have disabilities or you have things like that, you know. So it's very traumatizing and it's very difficult. People need affordable, sustainable, and permanent housing, and safe housing as well, you know. Um, the situation with housing here is, is, I could say, is a dire need, you know, because people are living in buildings or houses where it's not safe, um, it's not clean, it's unhealthy, a lot of things are happening to people when they don't, when the door is shut in their face. You know, they don't have a place to go or a place to lay their head or they living up under bridges. You know, that's not good. I mean, it's, it's very, to me it's ridiculous. So I ask that they look at people and look at our hearts and look at what we're talking about because it shouldn't, it shouldn't, people should not be in that kind of situation. I can understand some people may have that mentality and they may, they do have a choice, they may want to live like that, but most people don't, you know, most people don't. And only getting $700 a month Rent costs seven hundred dollars or more, you know. So just look into their hearts and their minds and understand where we're coming from and how we feel.